So welcome back to the Python plus node tutorial series and in the last episode we created uh, we finished the front end code for angular part and the only reason I didn't build and show it because there is nothing much going on in the front end. Uh, in the back end side we will try to make it more iterative so I'll build every time and show you how it works. So today we'll be starting with uh, coding the nest.js backend. So before we begin, uh, we'll be using the WebSocket module for Nest.js. Now that is something that won't be installed by default. So to install it, we just need to run these two commands. So this will install the WebSocket module for Nest.js and the platform. And we'll install the types also for our TypeScript. So to get this started, we'll just install this command, run these commands in the terminal. And let's go ahead and take a look at what nest.js projects was generated so by default nest.js will create an app controller so controller is something that so if you are creating a rest api you will be creating controllers and each of the function and controllers map to an endpoint but when we will be using web sockets the thing we will be creating will be gateways so we'll just rename this and i'll just copy the second command also uh, don't worry all these commands and links to where to find them will be in the description so we'll just install the types also and we'll start with uh, creating the gateway okay so once these types are installed uh, we can actually go ahead and do stuff here also so we'll be changing the app service later so let's just leave it here for now and we'll just get rid of the gate default gateway uh, default route and we'll create a logger first in private read only logger is equal to new logger uh, we have to import it from there and we'll just call this so we'll just rename this class also we'll call this app gate way and we'll give it the name app gateway dot name and timestamps will be good so whenever i work with nest so any service or gateway or controller that i create the first thing i do is always add a logger for that service and i use this logger in the scope of this service or controller so that really gives a good logged output and helps really helps in debugging so we'll remove the controller annotation uh, mixin and we'll be using the web socket web socket uh, we'll have to add the import statement also so i'll just copy the import statement mm -hmm. so uh, the module is web nest at the nest.js web sockets and we'll be importing a few things from there the first thing would be the websocket gateway that we'll add here and we'll give it a transport for this gateway because we want to enforce the websocket transport and that is something that we did at the front end side also while the connection was established and same thing we'll be doing here and also another thing we'll be using is the, the websocket server mixin so this is a handy way to get a uh, reference of the underlying websocket server so we'll be using this and storing it in a server variable and we will then use give it a type server now make sure you import this from uh, socket.io it's not doing an autocomplete for that so i'll just copy the import statement so as you can see this server type has been imported from the package socket.io which will be installed when you will install the nest.js socket.io module so because the websocket server will return a server of this type okay so now since that's done we will create uh, the subscription uh, like an event a listener so we will call that at the rate subscribe message so we will subscribe to the input message since this is the same event name we'll just save everything and close this 
this is the same event name from on which we are emitting from the front end so we will listen to the same event and we'll just call this method input and there will and anything that is in the message body we will inject that into the data variable and give it the type any so we know the type will be actually we'll just hard strong code the type so type will be a number and b number so because this is the thing that we are emitting and for now we'll just log this this dot logger dot log and we'll just call it data received and we can just do the stream interpolation here and just print the data here now if we start the server and start sending the random messages we will start like logging those stuff here but there is two another utility functions that you can write which come with the gateway class that is handle connection and handle disconnect so we'll just add all missing imports so handle connection is called whenever a new client connects to your websocket server and handle disconnect is called whenever the client disconnects in websocket each client has a client id which can be used to uniquely send messages to that specific client so that is something that i'm logging here so it will just make it make it easy for us to know whether our websocket is working or not so we'll just start the server and the backend so we'll just split the terminal so to start the backend all we need to do is npm start backend since backend was the name of my project i can use the npm start command and these npm scripts were generated by nx for us and to start the front end project all we need to do is npm start front end now we actually got an error invalid control oh yeah there is one thing that we need to do so we'll just rename this to gateway so renaming this is in the problem but in the nest.js module uh, the app gateway is no longer a controller so it is something that needs to be added to the providers so we'll just remove the controllers and import statements and once we save all this so you can see our server has started properly now and it's listening at localhost 3300 and also our angular application is up so if we just open this so as soon as we open uh, the dependency injection system initialized our main socket service and you can see we got a log of client connected so now if i just make it smaller so we can just see the logs so if i press the start button so that will keep on generating random numbers and you can see the data is being received so it's not being logged properly so if we go to the gateway i guess we just need to do json json dot stringify data so that way this will be logged properly now the server has started and websocket by default will always or try to reconnect again if the connection is lost so as you can see uh, it tried to reconnect and we are again receiving data and this time the numbers that are being generated so we'll just verify it's the same numbers just open the chrome so you can pretty much see the same numbers are being sent to the backend so this was the first step and just to make it a complete circuit we can just emit the output directly from here uh, we'll just multiply the data here and emit it so for emitting since we have that server variable all we need to do is this dot server dot emit and we give it an event name that would be output because that is the event that the front end is listening and we just need to give it uh, data so since we have the answer which is a number so we'll do data dot a star data dot b so if we just do this and save it so again the modules connected 
and you can see the multiplication result is automatically being updated because we had a listener on the front end that whenever anything is re received on the output event we just uh, take its value and add it to the answer variable which is then binded to the UI to be shown where the answer template binding is so the basic so our WebSocket connection between the front end and back end is working properly so we can send the data and receive data also the next thing we'll be doing is creating the Python interface through which we'll be able to send data to a Python script and we can do the computation there so if you have liked the series so far please do leave a like and if you have any suggestions do leave them down below in the comments and I will make sure to grow through them and subscribe to be updated for next and upcoming videos on the first series. Thank you.